now. Uh, headbands, mate. I stare across the desk as always, and uh, you're not just a good-looking rooster with bulging biceps and uh, great calves and quads, but you're also a man who likes to don the odd headband. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen you without the headband, and I've toured with you on many occasions. Um, it's, but it's taking over, mate. It's, it's gone down there to the Australian Open as well. Yeah, this is very exciting, and, and this was uh, look, it was pointed out to us by one of our fans uh, earlier in the week. The uh, ANZ Bank. You now, while we're while we're talking about, I guess, um, yeah, commercial partners, and we you know we'll take a handout if they want to sponsor the Naked Runners <laughs> yeah. podcast. But look, they've they've teamed up with Novak Djokovic to launch a campaign. It's called Headband for Good, and what they're encouraging people to do is don a headband, use the hashtag Headband for Good on social media, and and for every time it's used, um, they'll donate two dollars to World Vision Australia. So great little campaign. They've, it's very slick, and Novak's wearing a whole bunch of different headbands and the big. Uh, Pat, uh, the McEnroe wig and the whole bit. So jump on board, folks, and we'd love you to, love you to get involved. Obviously, we'd love to see as many naked runners headbands yeah. out there as possible. And Mossy, I couldn't help think, but that little challenge we set ourselves a few years ago, where we wanted to get a headband onto the head of Collis Birmingham, oh, one of Australia's greatest distance runners. Well, I would love to see, and this is our new mission. Can we get a naked runners headband on the head of Novak Djokovic during the Australian Open at some there we point? Go. There we go. So we'll get How are we going to make that happen? Look, I, we're going to have to put it out to the people. I've got no idea. I've never been to the Australian Open. I believe it's... Uh, do you think maybe we do what we do with Collis and just say Novak Djokovic to Melbourne Australian, Australian, Australian Open? Open. <laughs> well, it'll get there somehow. So, yeah, look, once they get behind it, maybe what we should do if we're smart, let's get maybe into ANZ Australia, given that they're behind the campaign. Maybe we, we set them up because they've obviously got a, a direct line to Novak. And they'll be able to sort it out and, and hopefully set him up in a new uh, video featuring our headband. Well, I've got two things. I've got this one for the people. Let's send these bastards broke. That's A and Z. Okay, so we've got to uh, go for it. Um, the second thing I, I want to do is, as we said there, we want to challenge Novak Djokovic. This is for you. and uh, It is a challenge for you to get him on next week's podcast. Oh, look. <laughs> In some capacity, I'll, I can live up to that, no, no, no doubt. But yeah, Catherine Jones was the one that pointed that little campaign out to us. So thanks, Catherine. And there we go. The no Catherine get Zeta Jones, maybe? It might have been. <laughs> She's a huge so fan. She, she'll, she'll be in a headband as well. Um, but yeah, there you go. The Novak Djokovic headband for good campaign. Get behind it, folks.